Oh, well, I'm gonna wash it out for her. Hello, welcome to MZ Tech Day. So today we're gonna be making some aloe vera shampoo. The aloe vera, as usual, guys, is the star of the show. The aloe vera is great for greasy scalp. Yes, so if you have greasy scalp, it's gonna help you there. Control controls the grease. It helps itchy scalp as well guys if you have itchy scalp this is a thing for it and it also protects protects you from uv rays help protects you from uv ray damage and the best part of it why we're using it today is that it promotes hair growth and that's why we're using that today guys so let's get to it this is my aloe vera plant it's already prepared it's cut up and it's cleaned i'm using the skin in this one guys i'm using the peel in this one we're also going to use some raw sheer butter so we're using some raw sheer butter i'll put the information in the description i'll put a link in there as well for those of you who want to try this um shampoo i'm gonna pop that in there so guys i've went ahead and i'll put the aloe vera pieces and the sheer butter into my blender i'm just gonna blend those two together first what it looks like um the shea butter and the aloe vera all blended together guys is shampoo base so i did look for some vegan shampoo base i will put a link in the description as well if you want to try that we'll be using 200 ml so it's 200 milliliters of shampoo base we'll also be using two teaspoon of essential oil the peppermint essential oil so i just want to put that in there because it does promote hair growth as well so i'm just going to put it in together with all the mixture guys i'll put all the ingredients together so i have my aloe vera my shea butter my shampoo base and also my essential peppermint oil i'm gonna blend it all together so guys i've blended it all together look at that nice creamy look to it this is all the ingredients blended nice. look at it oh i almost spill it look at it so lovely i am gonna put it on my daughter's hair now and i'm just gonna show you what it looks like on her hair so this is my daughter's hair and i'm just gonna add some of the shampoo to her hair so that we can see how the shampoo suds and look it's really thick her hair can you see how thick that is really thick that's her hair so i'm just gonna put the shampoo in her hair and see how it suds it and how it works with it okay just gonna add it to the ends first because her hair is really, really so her hair is i probably should have added some water beforehand but the peppermint oil guys the peppermint oil makes it it smells so good and this is what will help with her hair growth and guys if you wanted to actually um wanted to strain it out you can but because it's at home and she's gonna just wash it out i did not want to um to go through that process because I wanted the video to be very short. I had to put some water in her hair. So preferably it's best to like put some water in your hair or wet your hair beforehand. Yeah. So I'm just adding it especially to the back hair because sometimes she has some traction where I've pulled her hair too tight which I shouldn't and I'm trying not to. I'm going to also put it on the scalp of her hair i'm just rubbing it 
in with my fingertips I am NOT using my nails just the tip of my finger to massage it in but as you can see look at it guys it's not gonna sud so much because this shampoo is also sulfate free so um, it's not gonna be suddy suddy but that's fine and look at me I'm washing my hair and it feels so soft guys so what I normally do now I'll just detangle like finger detangle her hair and then I'll just leave it on there for a while because it's almost like it's a treatment as well but her hair has gotten so soft guys so soft so I'm just putting it apart like that with my fingers and look at it that's the shampoo guys homemade and the good thing about homemade shampoos is that you know what you get you know what you put in it because sometimes you get some um, ingredients that will affect your hormones and it won't sit well on your hair but this guy see I'm washing it I'm gonna do the next side as well and then she's just gonna wash it out. Well, I'm gonna wash it out for her look look at it guys so nice I'm gonna do the other side as well and it's just it just lathers up so well and you don't need much you don't need much which is awesome I will put all the ingredients in the description guys I'll put all the ingredients in the description but trust me I can how does it feel Sam yeah awesome and that's her hair at the moment it then tends to be really thick that's right. I feel like a real queen oh, she said she feels like a real queen so I'm just finger detangling her hair this is how long her hair is her hair is very long but it this shampoo makes it feel so nice just finger detangling it now she has gorgeous hair and this is promote the growth and it adds moisture which we need because her hair tends to be dry in this heat of all the 